everybody, this is Val. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel, V Swain's Shoebox Sundays. I am back with another unboxing. This is a box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child for a girl in the age range of two to four. It has a theme. It is a garden or a nature theme. I love this one. I think this one is tied for first place for my favorite. And you can probably hear the nature in my backyard, the birds chirping. And so let me show you what I packed for this little girl. So I used a regular shoe box for this, but yet it's pretty much the same size as an OCC Go box. And I put a little decorative duct tape around and some ephemera pieces just to cover up words and logos. On the inside of the lid, I I put some photo corners, attached some photo corners, and then tucked in a prayer card, which she can just pull out and remove. And the prayer card says, you will always harvest what you plant. Galatians chapter six, verse seven. And then over here, this is just like a library pocket, library book pocket envelope. And I tucked in our family photo there, and I still need to add a note to the child, which I will, tuck in there too and with sticker letters I added the phrase you are loved and this is what she will see right on top she has her her baby doll this is a cry babies and you know what I never realized this in the past and I probably should have because it explains why they're called cry babies there's an opening on the head you take that off you pour water in and then the the baby doll cries tears. There's little tiny holes in the eyes so that she can dribble tears. <laughs> and so I think that's really cute. I have attached a paracord bracelet around her feet. It might be a little big for a girl two to four, but she'll grow into it and I love the colors. The colors in this crybaby doll are the colors of my box kind of a, a deep orange, maybe a little bit lighter orange, or this, yeah, light orange is what I would call this, and yellow and light green or mint green. In this organ's bag, I have matching colors of items. Um, I have snap hair clips, light green and light, lightish orange. And I have a yellow cross necklace on a multicolored cord. I have some yellow ponytail holders, some of those orange ponytail holders, light orange. I've got light orange underwear. I'm calling that orange, but that color actually is maybe more of a, a melon or I'm not really sure, but I have a two pair of underwear, size four and size six. And then I have some yellow hair bows and a beaded bracelet in there. One of the hair bows is clipped on to a light orange headband. She has this hair brush, this little mini wet brand hair brush that looks like a plant. She has a yellow collapsible silicone water cup. And I love this because it comes with this nice lid and so uncollapsed, it looks like that. This can be used as a little tray, or a little food tray maybe, or she can set her water cup right in there and it kind of looks like a pot for a plant, doesn't it? She has these gardening gloves and I wanted to put a gardening tool in here so she could dig around in the dirt, but I didn't have room, so I did not. But I did include these gloves because the colors are perfect for my box and I just love them and I got those at Hobby Lobby. I believe they were summer clearance last year. She has this carrot container and inside the carrot container, I have a flower eraser and I have a butterfly eraser. I have this little mini figure. This is a little mini crybabies figure and I got a set of these at a couple sets. I think they came two in a pack at five below. This one is a little ladybug. She has this little figure of a cactus. 
or a succulent, which is what my plant is here in the background here. And it says sunny days on the pot. She has a wooden whistle, has a ladybug on it. I got these in the dollar spot at Walmart for a dollar. She has a couple novelty pencils. I got these as part of a set from Hobby Lobby, Playside Creations. They came with pencils and eraser tops. And I got those on clearance, 75% off. She has a yellow one with a bee, a green one with a snail. She has, this came as a bug catching set with a little bug tent, but I couldn't fit that in the box. But I really wanted to include this little magnifying glass, although it's not a glass, it's not glass. It's just hard plastic in there. And I believe that is a dragonfly bug, but isn't that just adorable? She has this little mini figure, which is a Cabbage Patch Kid figure. This Cabbage Patch Kid is dressed as a cat. And colors are perfect for my box. She has a couple of face scrubbies. And normally I would only put face scrubbies in an older girl box, but little kids need to wash their face too, right? And it these match a washcloth that I have packed in the box and I liked the colors. I thought the colors were perfect for my box. She has this pair of socks. There's a bee on there and it says save the and then an image of a bee so save the bees and I have tucked inside the sock a pair of novelty glasses. I believe I got these at Dollar Tree and they're not sunglasses but the lenses are shaded or tinted and they look like sunshine and I love the color. She has a toothbrush, orange and blue. She has this little hygiene kit with a bar of soap, a couple of mending kits, a couple of nail files in there and a few band-aids. She has this puzzle. I believe I got this. It's either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or maybe Walmart. So I guess I should say I don't remember. It's a 24 piece puzzle and it's fun with bugs. Love the container it comes in, it's reclosable. She has this giant quick pen, which has flowers on it. And this is a happy go fluffy item that was on clearance at Walgreens a couple of years ago, Easter clearance. So she'll have some fun writing with this ink pen. And it's a quick pen, so that's great for this age group. She has, I just tossed in this spool of ribbon that has flowers on it. She could use this in her hair, or she could give her baby doll a different ribbon, or she could actually use this ribbon any way she pleases. She has an outfit, which I love. These shorts are from they're bright yellow and they are from Old Navy. They are size six, seven. They don't look really big though. So bright yellow shorts. And they go very nicely with the shirt from Walmart that I got on clearance. I paid $9, but it came in a pack of three. And this is a size six, but look at the colors. Perfect, right? Matches my baby doll so nicely. So there are butterflies on the shirt and the words are bright, bold, and beautiful. I, th I think this is one of my most favorite outfits I've packed ever. Here's the matching washcloth. I crocheted this with kind of a scalped edge. So it's a little bit floral looking. So that goes with her face scrubbies. And you know, I was thinking she could use these to wash her face, but then she could use this also as a blanket. For her baby doll if she is so inclined she has a couple of coloring books because i didn't put a big coloring book in i just put in two smaller ones garden friends and crazy critters i counted and each book has 16 pages to color with some simple games and i thought the theme this matches the puzzle and i thought the theme was perfect these come in a set of three from Dollar Tree. This is what I put in for her paper to write on. 
It is a Playside Creations brand journal. It's a really nice size and it has lines in it for writing. There's a flower image on each page. Nice wide, wide ruled pages in this booklet. And this, it's, it's a journal, but I think she, it'll be perfect for her to practice her writing and she can even draw in that. This is her school pack. It's an orange pencil pack. And inside I have included all the essentials, the items I like to pack for two to four year olds, a glue stick, a couple of small pencil sharpeners, a couple of markers, a kid scissors, a six inch wood ruler, a bunch of pencils. Some of them are fit my theme nicely. This one, you can't really tell, but it has butterflies on it. And the one has little frogs on it. And I've got orange pencils in here and a yellow pencil. And I believe I have a red ink pen in here as well. And a yellow eraser for school. She has colored pencils. I chose this box of colored pencils, pen and gear from Walmart because of the nature theme on the box. The butterfly, flowers, the ladybugs, a box of crayon. She has a larger pencil sharpener. And I think this is meant to be a thimble. I got it in the sewing department at Hobby Lobby. But if you turn it this way, it kind of looks like a pot for a plant, right? So I thought that was pretty cute thing to include in this box. She has, this is from the dollar spot at Walmart. It is a glow and hide game. So these are chipboard discs and they have different garden or nature themed images on them. And they glow in the dark if they've been exposed to light. So this is the instructions. And on the back of the instructions, it says that an adult could hide these, not hide them, but could lay them out outside like in a yard and then after dark um, they'll glow and the child can go around and hunt for these discs that are glowing in the dark can be played as a game and see who finds the most so i love that dollar item from the dollar spot at walmart a little golden book this one is a little bit old-fashioned i think the original published date was in the 1950s and you could tell by the outfits the children are wearing that it's pretty old-fashioned but I still love it and I think the child will love it. It has some really great images of nature, plants and bugs even under the water nature and there's some cactus, so desert nature, forest nature birds. This looks like the prairie and that's the tundra, the frozen tundra. There's a little sweet girl looking at this bird in the nest. Some fish, some more fish, some flying bugs up here. I think they might be dragonflies or light, lightning bugs. And a frog on a lily pad, some butterflies. She has this tote bag. Well, first I'll show you the stickers. I got some puppy stickers here with ladybugs, flowers, rainbow. And she has an orange bounce ball. This one came from the machine at Old Navy. And she has, this is so cute. This is something we have at home in our collection, never played with. The tag is still on, perfect condition, tag's not bent. Came from the Disney store and inside, this is so perfect for this box. It's a zip pouch that has three peas in there. So these, this is peas in, peas in a pod, three peas in a pod. And these are just like little stuffed peas. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A tote bag that I got at Hobby Lobby. I believe it was 40% off. I don't remember how much I paid, but I saw it hanging there in the aisle and I knew I wanted it for this box. The colors are perfect. It's got that orangey color that's running through my box that I love. And then she has an orange comb. 
And that is the end of my box. And that's what I packed for a little girl two to four with a nature or garden theme. I call this box, if I forgot to mention it, How Does Your Garden Grow? So thanks for tuning in, friends. See you next time. Thank you.